the plasma filaments coming into view on the north have not maintained much stability the last week. After a small release two days ago, a larger phalanx of plasma ropes danced into view and created a phenomenal coronal cavity above them. Since magnetic fields suspend these filaments, and electric currents run through them and control their eruptive behavior, those force coronal particles out as well since they are charged, that is the circular empty region around and above it. They are expelled. Each of the vertical pieces is a solar tornado, one to two Earths tall, linked together stretching over 100,000 miles, and in the red 304 angstrom view we can see that line approaching the right side of the frame while they continue cresting into view over the limb. The caboose of the train does appear to be the tallest and was demonstrably unstable in the images we saw this morning. This dark of the coronal cavity indicates near threshold energy in the system, and just like you can see a cloud anvil top shear off due to wind at the highest levels, such instability was visible this morning in that tall trailing tornado as its top arch into the northern polar crown disappeared, leaving it open to connect to stronger inflows at lower latitude. That is exactly what happened at the highest levels, as the energy took an equatorial path out of the top of the column and the tornado itself whipped back around having lost much of its former self. As that energy is no longer organized but exemplifies turbulent chaos in the local area, the coronal cavity disappears as well, since that organization is what created it in the first place. Perhaps the best view of the eruptive activity, however, comes from 171 angstroms of ionized iron as a helicity can be seen spiraling around the ejective vortex just like a helix. I've gone ahead and isolated that part of the video for some run-throughs here, including some rock back and forth to see the helical motion. Unlike many filament destabilizations, this eruptive event did not produce a significant CME. It erupted, but did not eject. Most of the plasma either was redistributed in the corona or fed back down into the photosphere. Either way, its violent end is an example of why you don't need sunspots to have action on the sun, and although this one did not eject, over half of the big ones do. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.